Good morning. Saturday morning. We headed back to we're in Kansas City the day this video comes out. And we'll be headed back to home today. Going back to Macomb, Missouri. Look that up on the Google. You can see where that's at. Out here in southern Missouri. This this is an old creek bed back here at the bottom of that hill we come down yesterday video we come down through there right there is that trail right through there see there's that trail so we come down through there and come back down here in the bottom I want to show you all this down here how rough it is these old rocks uh, are rough a lot of stuff is washed out. You know, the, the water, look how these trees are washed out. Uh, all that over there. You can tell how the water's gotten up and washed the leaves out down on them and they stick on things, but you can tell the force of the water's moved quite a bit through here over time. Let's see if I can get across this. Go down in there. See what we can do. All right. Well, there's some pretty, pretty things up here to see. I brought Seth and Rebecca up here when they was here. We come back in here, and well, they found some neat stuff. Took back with them. It just amazes me that. You know, God created all this. And all these rocks are different. You know, they're, uh, they got different properties in them. And as, they, as the water washes the dirt out of the bottom of them, the littler uh, the gravel comes up. And we find that. There's a... The, the bottom of the creek bed right there. Let's see what we can find down here. Look back on these rocks. That old hillside. Huh. This tree wasn't here. Yeah, it was. This has got washed down since I was here last. I hadn't seen this one sitting across here. It's, it's got water's washed it. And uh, I can get across it here. Oh, isn't that neat? Get around this tree over here. Look at that old tree. Well, you never know. It's hollow. How long that'll stand, you know? What's well, made its home in that over the ages, over the years? All right. You never know. See what's in it. Look. Y'all look before I do. I don't know. I'm about afraid to poke my head in there. There's a bottom in it. This side's got like something been digging in there. <laughs> wow. Isn't that neat? August, our granddaughter and I have spent some time back here when she stayed with us for a while, her and Elizabeth. We've come back in here and and look at these rocks and find neat stuff and talk and have a, just a grand old time, you know. Just been been together back here. So just a big old rubble, bunch of rubble. <laughs> but 
it's neat to see you get down and get to looking at these rocks and you'll see all kinds of neat things but I won't get into that right yet I want to get over here and look at some scripture today that I've got uh, in first Timothy well there's a neat there's so much neat stuff here I wonder if I can sit down right here without falling over probably See what's around me. We come through there. <laughs> Isn't that neat? Yeah, anyway. I'm going to sit down right here. Get my book opened up and see what we got. Here in 1 Timothy. Uh... Let's see. Let's see. First Timothy chapter six and verse four. Go verse four here. All right, let's look at this and see how it comes out. Uh, look these up and these references. Look them up in context and and read them in context. All right, because it makes a difference. You understand what Scripture's saying and, and read it and don't add your don't add to it. It just what it says. Let, let God's Spirit lead you into all things pertaining to the Spirit. All right. All right. So, First Timothy chapter four, chapter six, and verse four. Get my my words right. All right. Here's what it says, and and the reference is tied to it. There's quite a few of them here, so uh, we'll get into this and see what what comes of it. All right. You all watch what angel blows down here. <laughs> They're snooping. There's another pups up there too. All right, let's see what we got. Versed in nothing but morbid about questionings and controversies, out of which is coming envy, strife, calumnies, wicked suspicions. Now, here's a reference that's tied to that. Being mutually disposed to one another, not being disposed to that which is high, but being led away to the humble. Do not come to pass for prudent with yourselves. Let no one be deluding himself. If anyone among you is presuming to be wise in this eon, let him become stupid, that he may become wise. Now, concerning the idle sacrifices, we are aware that we have all knowledge and knowledge puffs up yet love builds up if anyone is presuming to know anything he knew not as yet according as he must know for if anyone is supposing himself to be anything being nothing he is imposing on himself let no one be arbitrating against you who wants in humility and the ritual of the messengers to parade what he has seen, faintly, puffed up by his fleshly mind. Who is opposing and lifting himself up over everyone termed a god or an object of veneration, so that he is seated in the temple of God, demonstrating that he himself is God. Not apprehending either what they are saying or that concerning which they are insisting. No novice, least being conceited, he should be falling into the judgment of the adversary. Traitors, rash, conceited, fond of their own gratification rather than fond of God. nor yet to be heeding myths and endless genealogies which are according exactations, exactions rather than God's administration which is in faith. Now, stupid and crude questionings refuse being aware that they are generating fightings. Yet to those of factions and stubborn, indeed as to the truth, yet persuaded to injustice, indignation, and fury. 
as in the day, respectively, should we be walking, not in rivalries and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and jealousy. Now the infirm in the faith be take to yourself, but not for discrimination of reasonings. For where there is jealousy and strife among you, are you not fleshly and walking according to man? Now if anyone is presuming to be revilous, we have no such usage, neither the ecclesia of God. For first, indeed, now you're coming together in the ecclesia, I am hearing a schisms inherently among you, and some part I am believing. Then at your coming together in the same place it is not to be eating the Lord's dinner. Now if you are biting and devouring one another, be aware that you may not be consumed by one another. Now apparent are the works of the flesh, which are adultery, prostitution, uncleanliness, wantonness, idolatry, enchantment, enmities, strife, jealousies, furies, factions, dissensions, sect, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like of these, which I am predicting to you also, according as I predicted also, that those committing such things shall not be enjoying the allotment of the kingdom of God. i turn the page here. We may not become vainglorious, challenging one another, envying one another. For your contribution to the evangel from the first day until now, nothing according to fa with factions, nor yet according with vainglory, but with humility, deeming one another superior to oneself. All be doing without murmuring and reasoning. These things are ideal and beneficial for humanity, yet stand aloft from stupid questionings and genealogies and strife and fighting about law, for they are without benefit and vain. Now that's the references to 1 Timothy 6, verse 4. All right? So we've got that all together. So now you know. All right, we won't add anything to Scripture, and uh, we'll pick that up. So, looks like i got a phone call coming in. It's a perfect day to get the day started. Let's go see what God's got. I'll answer that call, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. See you then.